So far, Helldivers 2 is amazing, but could it be better? In this video, Murphlads and I are going to be discussing Helldivers 2 and talk about a couple things that can make the game even better. Let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree with what we said, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks! So, I kind of just want to go over like the overall like gameplay, just, just kind of talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you think about the like overall gameplay mechanics to the gunplay in the episode? I mean, I think that... Honestly, I think they did an incredible job with the game. Um, I mean, as far as like the mechanical stuff, like aiming the gun, shooting the gun, how it all feels and everything, I think it's uh, incredible. It's it's really smooth uh, and, and, you know, reactive and everything. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, there are like a few bugs pun intended uh, yeah but, <laughs> but i i think it's kind of to be expected you know arrowhead is a small company i think mm -hmm. it's you know i mean they obviously did held divers one and i think maybe this is the fifth or sixth it's produced oh really yeah okay uh, yeah no i think they're doing really well i think the the community kind of re realizes that <laughs> Yeah, I, I think like as far as like community love, this game is outstanding. Um, like one of everyone's the best things, with this game. Yeah, one of the best things they did was make it forty bucks. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and the the way the industry's going, or everything's you know at least like seventy bucks. Yeah, at least a forty dollar game. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. Like I, I would definitely rather have you know a few forty dollar games from like some indie ish. Uh, companies versus you know one seventy dollar game just because you get so much more out of it. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, but yeah, on on top of the gameplay, you know, I think they did good with the how fast you can up and stuff like that. It kind of can take a little bit of time. Is it? I think I have thirty three hours or something like that in the game now. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence on if the like the rate of leveling up is good or not because like you you do have to play a lot to level up, but it also depends it depends so heavily on like you know what difficulty you're playing on. Like if you have friends that you can play with, or if you're getting into random lobbies. Because um, if you're playing by yourself, then it's going to take so much more time. Uh, but if you got a team, then it's not that bad. Yeah, that, that is definitely true. <laughs> yeah. It, it is nice that the harder difficulty you play, um, you kind of get like an XP bonus. Yeah, you're essentially being rewarded for, for challenging yourself, which is awesome. I think maybe I'm just like terrible at the game or something, but <laughs> <laughs> trying yeah, to yeah, solo <laughs> trying to solo on like level four or five for me is difficult. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if I'm going against like the uh, automatons. I don't know what it is. They're like three times as hard as the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's I mean, you, I don't know. Like you have to hit half of them in the head, otherwise you don't do any damage to them. The bugs. That's not not usually as big of a problem unless it's like a charger. That's true. The little ones are basically one. shot. I don't know yeah. if any of the automatons are, are one shot. Uh, it depends on what gun you have, I think. Because I know like with the shotgun, you can get rid of the small ones, but oh, flamethrower. Actually, we need that for a challenge. Oh, do we? I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, on top of like the leveling and stuff, um, I mean, it's definitely kind of a, a grindy game. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a few of the same missions. Uh, everybody hates probably is the escort billions. Yeah. So for some reason, they're just attracted to my. Yeah. <laughs> they always just dive right in front of me. <laughs> Um, but at least with that, you know, like the max level was 50. Um, but before the mechs came out, everything was unlocked at level 20. Mm -hmm. And now that the mechs are here, they unlock at level 25. So yeah. it isn't too bad. And, yeah, and I would assume that. Oh, yeah, hold this down. I would assume that, uh, like, as more things come out, you know, the, the level requirement to unlock them is going to continue to go up. Uh, which I think is a good thing, because like having everything unlocked now at level 25 um, is cool, because like grinding to level 25 is important, so you have access to everything. Uh, but at the same time, like there's no point to grind past that 
you know, because there's no more, there's no more unlocks or anything that you get out of it. Yeah, and I think if if we can like see anything from like when the mechs came, oh, Blazer just took out both of those. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you know, maybe the next thing that is better or stronger than the mechs be unlocked at level thirty or something. They're gonna keep yeah. going up like that. The kaiju's. Yeah, yeah the kaiju's. Yeah. <laughs> No, whatever they decide to come out with next. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's more cool stuff, because those things are awesome. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have something cool. I'm sure they got a bunch of stuff planned out. At least I hope. <laughs> I hope so, too. Uh, yeah. Speaking of, obviously, they just released the... Uh, um, I don't know, it's the Crimson something? It's like almost that... like a Battle Pass thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just looking at that yesterday, I want to say. Uh, that's the one that had like the the new guns and everything in it, right? Yeah, I think four new guns, a um, couple laser ones, the first plasma gun, the plasma shotgun. That's cool. Which sounds cool. Uh, yeah. The only thing I don't like about that oh shit, right now is that it's you have to pay to get it. It's like almost yeah. kind of like a paywall, which is kind of yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of that. I, I get I mean, that like that was maybe a good idea when they didn't think they were gonna have a huge community, but with the number of people that are playing the game, I don't think they need that. Oh, I, I guess I mean they have to have some way to to monetize the game so that they can continue to do their business. But I don't know. I, I think there's a better solution they can find. Yeah, I I don't mind like certain things being behind a paywall. I, I think it should be left to cosmetics. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like maybe an armor, but even with this, like the armors have passive ability. And right yeah, now, cool. a lot of them have the same, so it's kind of just more like a cosmetic thing. As far as like, if you want uh, heavy or, or light or medium, <laughs> I mean, all the lights I think have the same passive, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. that's the one with the radar, right? Yeah, I do. Increase recon or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it's cool that they got a bunch of stuff planned, and I'm sure they do, obviously. Yeah. I just wish that the the paywall would be left to just cosmetics. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I don't think they should have anything that like affects your gameplay behind a, a paywall and i think that's true for every game you know I don't, I don't think any game should have guns or anything or characters that are locked behind the battle pass or, or a shop or anything like that i don't think that's right to i don't think it's fair to the players no definitely not <laughs> yeah I, don't know. I, I mean the only like caveat to that is that you can find the super credits in the game that's true which that is, is true. cool you could farm them yeah it, it's could. not too difficult either. Like I think I'm at like six or seven hundred or something like that. I don't I don't know if that's actually a lot, but it's like at this point I've just been assuming that I'm not gonna get anything out of the paid store. Uh, so I haven't bothered with it because I don't want to spend more money on a game that I already had to pay for. Yeah. Well, I mean the packs are ten each. I think. And oh, okay. I, ha I have a eighty. Nah, I know you can absolutely farm that stuff if you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not hard to farm. Nah. I'm gonna call in the resupply. Okay. Um, but yeah. You know, other other than that stuff, <laughs> I think the the variation of weapons uh, and the stratagems that are in the game are really cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the stratagems is like incredible what they've done with that because there's a, a huge variety and obviously they're they're coming out with new stuff they've already oh gosh you just got messed up <laughs> i'm surprised they didn't kill me <laughs> yeah um yeah i i think that you know the stratagems are are incredible you have like gas stratagems you can call in huge bombs or like airstrikes or all kinds of stuff. napalm um and now the exosuits uh i i think as far as like you know the the creativity on what you can do for uh, stratagems is is really impressive. 
Yeah, what, what's your favorite stratagem? Do you have one? Yeah, the um... Oh gosh, what's the, it's the one? The the orbital laser. I love that one. Oh yeah, that, that's. Ah. You know what? Actually, the one you showed me the other day, where uh, the one that selects like the biggest enemy nearby. Oh, the rail cannon. Rail cannon. Yeah, that thing is awesome too. I love that one. Yeah. I, have no more. I forgot the. I need to put on impact grenades. Tagging map northeast. Yeah, no, the real the real can is one of my Aside from the Yeah, those are those two are my, my favorite go to's. That and the, the shield that I have on right now, the little portable shield. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's it's OP. Even yeah. after they, they nerfed it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, even after the nerf. Still great. Aim right there. Uh, nice. I know one thing, and we kind of talked about this a little bit before. Um, one thing that would be really cool is to see uh, maybe some like kind of off the wall stratagems, I guess I would say. Uh, one, one thing would be, I don't know, like a, like a pheromone grenade or something to attract the uh, terminids away from you. Heck yeah, that'd be amazing. Especially <laughs> for like chargers, I think that'd be great because you can get them turned around uh, and, and not just barreling over you. Yeah, and maybe I'm sure they, they if they did something like that, they would have to change it. Like maybe instead of a grenade, it'd be like an orbital. Thing or something. Yeah, it would probably have to be an orbital thing. We're about to run. I didn't. Oh, we already ran out. <laughs> yeah, we already ran out. <laughs> it's a good thing we're doing this on level three. So can... Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, die. Whatever you do. <laughs> I almost killed myself a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think uh, another thing that uh, wait shuttles inbound in a minute twenty. Does it not wait for us? It's not. Was that a change? I I guess. I, I used to have like, limited time. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing I would like to see with stratagems though is more. Uh, um, I guess more stratagems that make you make like strategic choices when you're uh, taking in your four stratagems. Uh, and what I mean is like, you know, have a stratagem that's like specific to a particular mission or to a certain enemy. Like, like you were saying with the pheromone grenade for bugs, that'd be great because that's like specific for, um, you know, the terminids. But at the mm -hmm. same time, it's not killing anything in itself, and it's yeah. still taking one of your four slots. So you have to be really careful with what you choose to bring in with you. Uh, yeah, I, I think that would add a lot to the gameplay. Yeah, I agree too, because there's a lot of things that you can kind of just get by with you know, mm -hmm. picking whatever strategy you want. Yeah. And while that is cool, it's it's kind of like beginner friendly and stuff. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, maybe some that, you know, we're going to go destroy this automaton bunker. So you, one of, with one of your teammates has to have this, you know, bunker buster strategy. Yeah, something that's like, kind of like the hell bomb, like how you use that to destroy certain uh, areas. It's just like yeah. specific to the mission. Yeah, but instead of, you know, it just being available in the game is something that you have to actively pick and choose. Yeah. Ah! Right. Stop in. Yep. Yeah, well, I think one of the greatest things about this game is just the overall sense of community that it's brought. I mean, the game came out like maybe a month ago now. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, remember the exact date. <laughs> yeah, uh, me neither. But some time ago, uh, a few weeks or something like that, you know, yeah, obviously, every, yeah, it was plagued with the server issues, which is, you know, it, even AAA games have that issue. So yeah. For a, a small company to maybe not expect the game to do, be as successful as it was, um, for it to be that success, successful, and then they were able to fix the server issues a week or two. I, I think that's awesome, if, and the fact that they were transparent and saying like, yes, they're actively working on it, uh, just goes to show yeah. that they're listening to the community. Yeah, I think that's a, a really good sign for like a healthy um, communication channel and healthy relationship between like the community of the game and, and the developers. Um, because I mean, especially with with. They, I mean, their servers were in really bad condition. They were in a, in a bad place when the game first launched. 
Um, yeah. But they turned that around really quickly. And since then, so like since they had that update, there hasn't really been, as far as I know, there hasn't been, you know, any significant issues with getting into the game for anyone. Um, so they, they did a like a 100% turnaround and, and fixed that super quick. They have content coming out all the time, which is amazing because the game just came out. So it's, it's really impressive that they're getting content out as quickly as they are, I think. Uh, whether it's fixes or, or new content or whatever. Yeah, that and like the, the community challenges, you know, we had the automaton challenge at first where they yeah, were, those they were starting cool. to take over. Yeah, um, so everybody was focused on that. I think we actually lost that one. We'll have a long <laughs> freak, RIP. Uh, right. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then now we're, we had to fight the Terminids with the Terminate control system. There's mm -hmm. the giant tower of book, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> and who knows what'll be next? Maybe we'll yeah. see the possibly illuminate comp. So oh yeah, I, I heard are, a little yeah. bit about that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that'll be exciting. I, I think it's just great. Yeah, I do too. And I think they've done a, a really great job. Like even just down to like the the aesthetics of like the the terminate towers, I I think it just looks super cool when the when that thing's going. Like after you finish the mission and it's like blowing out all the that the fumes or whatever, the chemical. Um yeah. even like down to that kind of stuff, I think they just did a great job. I think literally the first time I played that and I finished that mission, when it gave out that like big alarm and started spraying everything, I was like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just feels awesome. F those bugs. Democracy. Yeah. <laughs> For liberty. All the cool stuff, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but the last thing I want to talk about is possibly like a new mission that would be fantastic to see. Uh, and that would be something kind of like in the form of raids. Yes, I'll, I'll already in a four-person team. Uh, if we can just get like a raid, even if it's still going to be like a 30, 40 minute time limit like we have now. Mm -hmm. I think the best way they could do that, uh, specifically with like bugs, is to drop into like a cave or something and we have to like work through the cave. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Like yeah. you go you go into their like actual nest and you have to like do something in the nest, like kill like a, a queen or something like that. I don't know how they work. But yeah. uh, you know, you do something like that. You have to drop a bomb inside the cave to like to kill them all or something. Dude, that'd be so cool. Like a bigger brute commander or something. Yeah, yeah. And you can do the same thing for the automatons. You can just be like, you know, have these like superstructures where they're manufacturing all kinds of automatons, and you have to go in there and stop their manufacturing and you know destroy their facility and whatnot. Yup, I think that. Heck yeah. Plus, that gives us more opportunities to, like, diversify the rewards. Like, you could have, I don't know, like, uh, uh, you could reward them with, like, super credits for doing raids or something like that. Something that's uh, not as common of a reward. Uh, that way, you kind of incentivize doing the raids uh, with the team and everything. If you like the type of discussion in this video, let us know in the comments. Is this the kind of video you'd like to see more of? If so, what other games would you like to see? Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time.